Crossy Road is such a cool game. I used to play it all the time. And now I want to play it on Minecraft. So I built my own version of Crossy Road. And you can build this game too, because it's really easy to build. So let me show you how to build this totally addictive game. There is no complicated redstone or difficult ingredients. And the best thing, you can customize it, so you can make it as easy or as difficult as you like. You have total freedom and can make this completely your own. The basic idea is that you jump from minecart to minecart to get to the other side without dying. And that is a lot harder than you think. All you need is minecarts, rails, powered rails, some redstone and some lava and of course some building blocks. But I'm not going to tell you how much you need because basically it depends on how big you want to make this and you can make this huge. Let me explain some basic rail mechanics first. If you place a minecart on a powered rail next to a solid block it will automatically start. This redstone block will power the rails to about here and when the minecart reaches a place where there is an unpowered rail it will automatically stop. So we have to make sure that all the rails are powered. If you put another redstone block over here, the power will go all the way across. That's quite a long way, so you actually don't need that much redstone. And the stronger the redstone signal is, the faster your cart will go. If you want a slower ride, you can also use normal rails behind the powered rail. But the cart will come to stop about here at 8. So if you want to keep your carts going, you need to make sure that every 8 blocks you put a powered rail down. And this is how you can vary the speed of your varying rail carts. In our game, the rail carts need to go back and forth without stopping. And you can simply do this by putting a powered rail at each end and a solid block behind it. We also want to make sure that people have to stay in the rail carts and can't just jump out like this, because that's cheating. When you press shift to exit a rail cart, Minecraft will always try to put you on the nearest solid block. So let's take these solid blocks away and replace them by something nasty like lava. You don't want to land in that. Now we have another problem. Because if I now exit the rail cart, the nearest solid block is on the rails and it stops the rail cart, which breaks the game. So we have to stop that from happening. And how do we do that? Well, simple. We have to make Minecraft believe that you can't actually land on any of these rail blocks. And how do we do that? By placing a top slab over the top. So, and now this area is actually too small for you to stand up. And Minecraft thinks, hey, I can't place them there. Well, what's the nearest block I can place them? And yes, it's the lava. So, ouch. And that's exactly what we want. Because now you can't actually exit your rail cart in mid game without dying. So we have covered all the basic game mechanics. We've got minecarts going back and forth. And all we do is we right click with an empty hand on the next minecart and hop from one minecart to the next. But how far apart can they be? Well, a one block gap is no problem. A two block gap is fine. But a three block gap, yeah, that's not possible unless you're in creative. A three wide lava river is simply too wide. So I'm just going to get out. Oh dear. But maybe hopping from cart to cart is just a little bit too easy. So let's make this a little bit more difficult by replacing some of these slabs by full blocks. And look, you get a little bit of suffocation damage. And you can't see what you're doing, so you can't click on anything while you're inside the block. So you've got to aim well and click fast before all your hearts run out, because you can die pretty quickly like this. And that's basically everything you need to know. Now we're ready to build the big game. So let's leave the test area and go over here tons of space. Let's make this game nice and big. Let's pop some lava in between those rails and swap out some of those powered rails for regular rails so they all go at different speeds. I'm also going to make some tracks shorter and some tracks longer and that way we can randomize the movement of the carts and make it much more difficult. And finally some obstacles. And for the extra ouch factor I'm going to use some magma blocks so you don't just suffocate you also get some burn damage. Ouch! You can just have one long track or you can make it like a proper video game and have some stages. So I've made some wider gaps here with a little station where you can just hop off and set your spawn. And of course the way stations also have a little snack in them so you maybe get some health back. Now I just have to build a little area here at the end, at the finish, where you can just hop into one of those minecarts and that's you done. And all that's left to do now is test the game. I told you it was easy to build. Gosh, this is more difficult than it looks. Oh my god, my hearts are going down at an alarming rate. Oh, I'm so glad I've got these way stations where I can at least have a little snack and get my health back. 
And what is this? At the last stage, here's an extra challenge. Oh my god, a pillager! Yes, I know, I put that there myself. But just imagine how surprised your friends will be if you find a hostile mob on the track. That will really be boss level. And, ah, phew, okay, I made it. This track here is actually fairly manageable. The one here on the outright server that I built, that is a total beast. I'm totally addicted to this game now, and I hope you will love it too. Enjoy building crossy cards on Minecraft. Bye bye!